Welcome back Guardians to another weekly reset rundown. If you are new to Destiny 2 and you want to increase your light level but you seem to be stuck at a certain level, well Guardians, I got the perfect way to help you to increase your light level a lot faster just by doing what I'm about to tell you in this video. So make sure you pay attention to all the stuff that I'm going to be giving you and this should help you increase your light level a lot faster. For the Vanguard Ops playlist, all you have to do is complete three rounds with the matching elemental burn to gain your pinnacle gear. And the burn for this week, it is solar, but you also get stasis today. So I would recommend just run with your solar or your stasis if you're down with both. And as far as the Nightfall, you will be facing none other than the Volta herself, Omnigold 2.0. All you have to do is complete the Nightfall strikes at a higher difficulty to grant the most efficient progress to gain your powerful gear at tier 1. And then if you complete the Nightfall Strike with a team score above 100,000, you will gain your Pinnacle Gear. Also, the acute burn for this week for the Nightfalls, it is going to be art. So basically it's plus 25% damage dealt and 50% damage received. So just kind of keep that in mind as you're running around in the Nightfall Strikes. And also while you're in the Nightfalls or your Vanguard Ops, make sure you stop by the tower to pick up your 8 bounders from Zabala while you're running all this and you should be good to go once you get it done and boom you got another gear of powerful gear for gambit all you have to do is complete three matches to gain your pinnacle gear and then also stop by the tower to pick up your bounties from the drifter and then you should be able to complete all eight bounties while you're running gambit and that way you will be able to get your powerful gear plus your pinnacle gear at the same time and if you hop on over to crucible all you have to do is complete control elimination rumble and as well clash three matches and you're good to go and that way you will be able to get your pinnacle gears for completing the three matches. Also, make sure you stop by Shax to pick up your eight bounties while you're doing all this. And you'll be able to get a powerful gear along with the pinnacle gear. As far as glory survival, all you have to do is win seven rounds to gain your powerful gear at tier one. Okay, now we're going to take a look at what you could do inside the helm. As far as bounties is concerned, all you have to do is pick up eight from the containment ritual and as well, eight from the star chart. And while you're doing those, hop on over to the cat crash. And all you have to do is complete three rounds to gain your powerful gear at tier three. And then complete the cat crash activity on master difficulty to gain your pinnacle gear. Then you hop on over to Expedition Playlist. All you have to do is gather up 125 treasures and you'll be able to gain your powerful gear at tier 2. As far as the Throne World is concerned, all the stuff that you are able to do to gather more light. All you have to do is complete the preservation. All you have to do is complete it once and you're good to go to get your pinnacle gear. Complete the Altar of Reflections. All you have to do is complete two rounds and then you're good to go with the powerful gear at tier 1. And then all you have to do with Finch is gain your reputation with him. As you're doing all this stuff in the throne world, you should be able to finish out the reputation with Finch. And then going to the weekly mission, it is ritual. And all you have to do is complete the weekly campaign mission on any difficulty. It will get you a powerful gear at tier 1. And then get a team score above 100,000, you get the pinnacle gear. And then all you have to do is hop on up to the Voskop score to defeat powerful cabal of champions in the Voskop score exotic quest. And then you'll get your pinnacle gear and then down here at the wellspring uh, image should be popping up with the rotation of weapons and enemies all you have to do is complete the runs of the wellspring three of them and you're good to go to get your power gear at tier one and then complete the runs of the wellspring on higher difficulties to get your pinnacle gear for dares of attorney all you have to do is complete three rounds and while you're doing that hopefully the bonus round will trigger because you need above 250,000 to get your pinnacle gear but all you have to do is complete three rounds for your powerful gear as far as the legend side of things, the first round you're going to be facing Hive, the second round is Fallen, and then your final round is going to be Cabal. And okay, the remaining few things that you are able to do with in Destiny 2 The Game or Light is to complete the Duality Dungeon and as well as the Grasp of Avarice Dungeon to gain your Pinnacle Gear. All you have to do is complete one round. And then as far as raids are concerned, this week you have both Bolt of Glass and a King's Fall Raid to be able to gain some Pinnacle Gear as a lot of really good stuff. And if you've been trying to get your hands on the Vex, I will recommend hopping into the VOG to get the Vex or try to get in the King's Falls to get the Touch of Malice because both of those are really decent weapons. Okay, the final stuff that you are able to get as far as powerful gear is concerned, I know I mentioned a lot of this before, but all you have to do is complete the 8 bonus with Drifter, your clan percentage with your Hawthorn, the 8 bonus from Banshee, 8 bonus from Shax, and as well 8 bonus from Vanguard. And then I'm pretty sure that Mr. 
Saint Helm 14 has it as well, so I would recommend completing all your bounties and then you'll be able to gain a lot more light level and these are definitely the fastest way to gain your light levels guys and if you're looking for more stuff to watch right after this video ends there should be a video popping up on the screen now it is my prediction of what Zora is going to be bringing this week as far as who I am guys I am D3 Gaming the Fallen Kill of House of Judgment and I will see you in the next video so peace out Guardians and remember keep your eyes up